I think if I fail it five times in a row, we we change plans. Please. Please. Come on. Come on. Get there. Get there. Let's go. Wait! Did I fall right at the end? Okay, I will say I was a little premature. This video is once again brought to you by Exter. Now, last time we did this, we had some uncomfortable close-ups and I dramatically threw my old wallet on the floor because the Exter wallet was just better. Well, we can't really do the same thing this time around because I have since completely gotten rid of my old wallet. Check out the Exter Parliament wallet. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It has a low profile and it is packed with tech. For starters, let's crack this bad boy open and take a look at the credit card sized razor thin tracker card that has a battery life that lasts two months. This thing will allow you to connect your wallet to your phone. You'll get a notification anytime your phone and your wallet aren't together. You can also see your wallet's last location on a map and as long as you have one of the two devices, you can make the other one ring. But let's say a conventional wallet isn't really your thing. You want to keep an even lower profile. Well, you may be interested in one of the extra card holders. I really like this thing. Anytime I don't want my whole wallet, I just load the cards I need into this thing. It's got the same mechanism as the Parliament wallet, where with the press of a button, you can fan out all your cards. It's RFID blocking, and it is absolutely tiny. So with that said, if anything I just talked about interests you, you can go to shop.exter.com forward slash the RS guy and save up to 25% off your entire order with their summer sale. Once again, thanks to Exter for sponsoring this video. Welcome to day 14. Two weeks in, I've got to say, I feel pretty good about the stats. I mean, we're almost 15 under total, 186 quest points. Not too bad, but what I would like to do today is 55 wood cutting, 61 crafting, which is super fast by the way, we have all the gems banked, lunar diplomacy, and then after that, I think I want to do mornings and parts one and two. Because I just, I feel like that would be really, really, really cool to have done. That feels like an end game quest to me. And uh, yeah, 14 days in, that'd be really, really sick. As for the world wakes, I am not 100% yet. We will think about it. I am open to considering it, but I am also a little scared. And I, I definitely want to make that clear that doing it without a sign, it's just the idea that like, if I did die, that would be real embarrassing. How am I feeling today? Um, I am feeling a little better than yesterday. Still not 100%, but we're all good. We're, uh, we're happy to be here. I got my morning coffee, even though I've been up for four hours and we're, uh, we're chilling. That is level 56 fishing, a good way to start the day. Okay, so I believe I've done daily challenges, beehives, and jack of trades now. Very cool. And yeah, we're uh, we're getting there, man. I'm also kind of excited, but I think we're going to start doing Croesus Force, um, possibly as early as tomorrow. 51 prayer coming in. He's absolutely insane. Also, that is level 50 crafting coming in, but uh, let's get our cash done and then back to crafting. Level 51 crafting level 52 crafting 53 crafting coming in okay yeah this is really fast 54 coming in 56 coming in we take those 57 crafting coming in 58 crafting coming in three more levels to go i am a third of the height of an adult giraffe that's pretty tall do i feel tall next to an ikea kalax shelf wait yeah i'm tall dude that is level 60 in the crafting skill let's go one more level until Lunar Diplomacy. My H's are double to Grim, which was actually crazy. Hold up, let me pull it up. Yeah, right here. The RS guy received two Aerithor's Grimoire. Still not worth it, but... Very cool. That took a total of 30 minutes from level 49. That is one of the wrecks for Lunar Diplomacy. The final wreck we need is we need level 55 agility, which is 4,600 XP. Here's the thing about doing giveaways. I've given away lots of GP in the past. It attracts people that show up and are just like, hey, love the content. When's the next giveaway? Just like wondering, which is like, to me, I feel like if I have to pay you money for you to watch me, it would be better for all parties if, if that individual were to watch someone else. Level 55 woodcutting, which means we can now do Lunar Diplomacy, which we're going to do right now. I want my new power gear. Oh no, I don't have a fire talisman. Wait, I don't have any talismans? Oh no, dude. Okay. Life is so hard. To the abyss. I've got to go to Varrock. 
Why is life so hard? Bro, we're on one small favor to get a fire talisman. I've done the mini quest. I just, I must have skipped the post quest dialogue. All right, let's go. Okay. Welcome to the abyss. I don't know where to go. Wait, that's a fire talisman of the first kill. Wait, we're actually pogging. That's huge. All right. So now we all see an earth and a water talisman. And you know, with any luck, we'll get an Omni Talisman too, but that's an Earth Talisman. Okay, yeah, this was sick. This was so sick. What a method. And that's a Water Talisman, dud. All right, team. It's time to fight our greatest adversary. It's, it's myself. Wait. Oh, they don't want me safe spotting. Okay. Bro, they didn't. Well, that was very intense. Bit of a close one. Good thing I brought 800 Eligators with me for that. I really think they should go back and make every quest boss fight an actual fight again. It just, it's, it kind of kills the vibe. Okay, that is Lunar Diplomacy quest complete. An absolutely huge one. By far, I think the most important part of this quest is access to the Lunar Armor, because the Lunar Armor is extremely good. Even though it's level 40, it's actually tier 60 power gear. So it's got the same stats as, like... I was going to say full dragon, but is dragon even power gear? I think it is. Yeah, so same stats as, like, full dragon. So that is extremely exciting. The cape is less good than the Guthic's cape, so we're not really going to use the cape much. Ring, obviously, will be a ring of life, but all of the other pieces of the outfit... Uh, we are most definitely going to be using the amulet's actually really, really good with 30 magic bonus. So, yeah, we just got a huge upgrade both to our armor and our damage output as well. Well, now that we've got access to Lunars, what do we need for Dream Mentor? Oh, nothing. That's kind of an annoying quest, though. I don't think I don't want to do it today. So I think what we want to do is Morning's End Part 1. Oh, this could be a killer quest. Let's go. Wait, why are we dying at green? They're already green. I think my character just enjoys blowing up toads. That is such an unnecessary step. So far in the quest, I murdered a bear. I stole soap from a druid doing laundry. I tickled the gnome's feet. I blew up a bunch of toads. And now I'm about to fire said blown up toads at sheep. Yeah, the world guardian, just, uh, you know, a standard day. Whatever you do, do not tell PETA. Oh my goodness! Wait! He's not on either tile! I... I'm too close. I need another toad! Wait, wait, wait. That's spot on, go! No! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I kinda... This is a detour. <laughs> this is a detour. <laughs> Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, back to work, back to work. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm not tilted, I'm not upset. I'm not tilted, I'm not tilted. I am not tilted. I am not tilted with this interface. No, interface is good, game is good. Game is so good. This game is just so good. This game is just so good. Oh. <gasps> Go. Gaming. That is Morning's End Part 1 quest complete. I love how one of the rewards is full mourner gear. Like, there's a lot to do with that. I will happily take 25k thieving XP, though. That is a beautiful thieving level. HP lamp as well. Don't think I'm going to level there because we're, you know, level 76. But yeah, I'm great with that. And now we can do avoidance. But, uh,. I think we'll, we'll do it later. Holy crap! Wait, I need all of these items? I need all of these items. All right, let's go. I'm getting all of them. Here we go. That is level 67 divination. Which means absolutely nothing, except that we can go back to getting all the items on this stupid list of items. 
All right, to the potato field. Wait, that's gonna go right through me. <laughs> Imagine, that's how you lose the hardcore. I think if I fail it five times in a row, we, we change plans. Please, please, come on. Come on, get there, get there. Let's go. Wait, did I fall right at the end? Okay, I will say, I was a little premature. Okay! Wait, I think we did it. Yeah, we did it! Let's freaking go! Whew, that wasn't too bad. It was kind of bad, but it wasn't too bad. And now, this is the guy that's gonna give me the list of 50 items to bring, and I'm gonna have to keep going through over and over, but I think the puzzle saves, so I think we're good. Here's the second invent of random crap that you asked me for, including an archery ticket, a skull from the Wildy, and a book that I did not read. <laughs> Let's go, dude! Holy crap. What a terrible timeline, honestly. What an absolutely terrible timeline. But it's done. Let's go. Easiest two quest points of my life. Okay, no, I actually hated that, but it's done now. And we're also 60 agility, which is kind of cool. Wait, I could do the Elder Kiln. Wait, if we could survive the combat of the Elder Kiln, I would be so down to go for a Kiln Cape. Wait, is Kiln Cape a safe death? I would be so down for that. Yeah, dude, I would take a Kiln Cape. That's actually fire. That is such a flex. Yeah, I want that. I want that. I want that. Okay. Am I actually going to do it, though? I don't have a Beast of Burden. Okay. We need a Beast of Burden, but the new game plan is level summoning. Get a Beast of Burden of some kind. Like, can even be a Terror Bird. And then get a Fire Cape. Get a Kiln Cape. Because that is so sick. That is level 61 Slayer. We absolutely take those. Croesus is great. What a fun boss fight. All right, I am going to be leaving the mass at that point. Someone else can take over, though, and you guys can keep going if you would like to. Um, I'm going to check my loot, but I want to get my fight cave in. Done. I can speak. I'm tired. Let's go. Check the loot. Wait, that's actually ridiculous. That's, like, not inflated at all. 1.4 mil. Okay, heading into the fight caves with this setup, 45% of my chat thinks I'm going to die? Okay, now it's personal. Now it's personal. Every single person that put death on, I want you all to know, this is where I pop off and you guys lose your points. Yes, I think, I think it is. Whatever, let's go. Wait. Did I go in the wrong hole? All right, let's go. Wait, are they stuck inside of each other? What in the... Ket centipede is that? Alrighty, wave number 51 check-in. I have still used almost no supplies. We are 41 minutes into our battle. I, I don't think I'm going to mess this up. It's a single Jad. I can do this. Here, here comes Jad. Where? There. Dude, he's so cool. I love the old Jad model. He looks so sick. Just a fire mob, dude. He looks so sick. Here we go. Do -do -do -do. Have HP. Healer is coming. Grab one. Back on Jad. Pray wizard. Grab two. Grab three. Grab four.
kiting the minions. And last is fix. Hit chat. He healed. Bro, that's so rude. <laughs> Wait a second. The battle continues. The plot thickens. All right, we did it. Woo, let's go. 55, 25. In under an hour. And we now have a fire cape that we're going to be sacrificing to try to kill tomorrow. Um, and I have a strong feeling that um, we will probably maybe not be able to do it. But we're going to give it our give it our best shot. It's a safe death. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we did that. That was fun. That was really fun. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I have a feeling you might like this one. It's the finale of the solo series, where we try and get 4,000% enraged Telos done with no food on an Iron Man account that doesn't have access to any group content.